Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Tara Kupak and you have joined me for a session on how to learn clippings for Firefox. Clippings is a great add-on that is used on the free internet browser called Firefox. If you don't have Firefox already, you can just Google Firefox and download it for free. Since I already have Firefox installed, right now I'm on my PC, you can also do this on your Mac. You can just type in clippings comma Firefox and the first thing that comes up is this page. And once you've clicked on it, you'll see that it's for clippings 3.10. By the time you download it, it might have upgraded. So I'm just gonna click add to Firefox and when you do that, underneath the address bar, there'll be a pop-up. So just make sure that you allow the download. And after you've allowed the download, you'll need to restart Firefox. It will prompt you to do that, and once you've done that, you'll notice that at the bottom right-hand corner, there's a new icon that looks like a clipping. And here is where you can easily access and manage your clippings. If you want to create clippings, you can do it as easily as highlighting what you want to save, and then you can just click and drag it to the clipping, which will turn yellow and I let go and now this pops up. It already filled the description and the text. And I can put it in folders that I've already created or I can create a new folder. Right now we'll just put it in the general clippings area. You can also assign it a shortcut key and since it's for message options, I will do M. And so I'll just press OK to create. And so say I wanna use this. I wanna, you know, I don't wanna have to type this right now and I wanna use it over and over again. So this is a great tool to use. Right now I'm gonna use the shortcut key, so I'm gonna do Control, Alt, and V at the same time. And this will pop up, it'll say press the shortcut key of the clipping you want to paste. Well, our shortcut key we just created was M, and so I will press M. And so now what we had just saved in our clippings and have put on the uh, text box here has appeared. So we know that our shortcut key works. So that's wonderful. So we can also <clears throat> access our clippings manager to organize. So I can do that by double clicking this icon at the bottom and the clippings manager will come up. I can even make it bigger. And then you'll notice that our message option doesn't have a folder. So I can click and I can drag it and put it in one of these. And so I can expand. And then you'll see that, you know, I even have different weeks lined up. And so you can, you know, just organize and create from here. And if you have multiple computers, which I do, I've shared this on my Mac. So after I've created all of the ones that I want for now, and you can do this, you know, on a daily, weekly basis if you are creating multiple clippings, you can do export and I made it a clippings file, and then you can, down, um, you know, name it, and then, uh, you know, then you'll just email it to yourself, open it on your other computer, and then you will go back and you will import it, and you will click on it and press OK, and then all of those will come up. So it's a wonderful tool, and it's a great backup, even if you don't have multiple, multiple computers. It does, you know, you know, look at all these notes that I would miss if, uh, my computer crash. So it's a great idea to export and email to yourself even if you don't have multiple computers. Okay, so let's just pretend that we are grading a discussion right now since I can't show you any student names in an actual class. Let's just pretend that this text box is where we would grade our discussions. So I just have the mouse and I'm going to right click just as I would, you know, to copy or paste. And at the bottom you'll notice that clippings has appeared. And you'll see that there's my nice, you know, folders that I created within Clippings Manager. So say I want to grade, uh, this is, you know, a student that did a good discussion. So I'm going to click good discussion. And so, you know, it pasted everything that I needed right here. So I'll do Google search and it'll show, you know, that the whole thing has posted. So, and then I can also add, you know, Tara, comma, a good week for you. So, you know, it makes it personal and it makes it fast for you. So keep it up and I look forward to many more uh, helpful advice for you all. Thanks so much for tuning in.